Hi, I'm Roger Woodruff here in beautiful Junction City, Oregon uh, with the BISH organization. Um, today I'd like to do a little cooking demonstration. I think that while we're out camping, that that's actually some of the best food I've ever had in my life. So today I'll be using an 09 um, Sun Cruiser by the Winnebago Industries. Um, and we're going to do a chicken alfredo, homemade bread, and broccoli. Okay, we're going to do this all from scratch for the uh, chicken alfredo. And I'm going to just use Rhodes bread dough. It's quick, it's easy. Let it thaw, put it in your pan, cook it up. Super simple. So, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is prep our chicken. Chicken alfredo is actually one of my favorite meals to cook because it is so easy. I like, when I'm in the RV, I like to use these little flexible cooking, cutting tray things. I don't know, what are they? They're small, they're easy. They, uh, they don't take up much room and they protect our countertops. I always like to cut this into bite-sized pieces. That way we can get a nice, good seasoning all the way around. Try not to cut them into very big pieces. I like to, you know, just you know, chicken breast one bite, but uh, I find that other people don't quite want to take bites that size. So. A good sharp knife really does make a, a lot of difference. So for our bread, I'll be using a convection microwave. And a lot of folks, they'll say, well, I've never tried a convection microwaves. I don't I don't want to really want to use one of those. I gotta I gotta say I love the convection. Um, unlike a, a propane oven uh, which is going to be spotty, a convection oven is going to be a nice consistent heat all the way around. So you're gonna get for our bread we'll end up with a nice golden brown top to bottom. So this is our convection microwave. Love this thing. You hear all the time the uh, air fryers. You can get this air fryer this, this air fryer that. Convection microwave is just an air fryer. So I love it. It's gonna surround your food with heated air to the temperature that you want. So for um, convection, we're gonna press preheat and then we're gonna press the temperature we want. I wanna say go. It's that easy. Trying to do this really quick, but a lot of chicken. I know my coworkers are going to be enjoying today's lunch. Well, at least the ones I like. You hear the uh, the hum in the background of the convection microwave using that, that fan to move hot air around. Looks like our bread is just about ready to go in. So, while I've got that preheating, we're going to go ahead and get our pan warming up for our chicken. A little bit of olive oil. I tend to like my Lowry's. It's a nice basic seasoning salt. You really can't go wrong with it. I'm going to give quite a bit of a toss here so that all my pieces are evenly coated. There we have our convection oven preheated. So now we're gonna set it for cooking. So we're gonna press convection. Open the up, open it up. Put our bread in there. Beautiful loaf of bread. Set it right in the middle. It's gonna do a little spin. Okay, now we're gonna press convection. Number six. Then how long do we want it? I want it to go for 20 minutes. Hit start. 
We're making bread. Ooh. Now we're going to be making some uh, chicken. Okay. There we go. Got it all nicely seasoned up. So on our standard three burner stoves for RVs, we're going to have our down front center burner. This one. That's our high output burner. It's going to give a little bit more propane, a little bigger fire for cooking for our bigger pans like we're using here. Get that sizzling up. I picked a coach that doesn't have a whole lot of counter space. I did that because that was also one of our complaints, is I need more space. I'm doing quite well with making a, a really nice lunch dinner here. Get my water going for the carbonata noodle. These are a, um, a low carbohydrate uh, noodle, great for keto and diabetics because I are one. These are very fast cooking noodles. We're gonna cook in about three minutes. So obviously I wanna get that chicken cooked up quite a bit. The chicken Alfredo, you can get the stuff in the, um, in the jar. A lot of people will like that. I find that after I've done it this way, making it from scratch, I'll never go back to the jar. Mm. And it's really so simple to make. Very few ingredients. Let that cook for a little bit. And now we wait. We've got the uh, chicken it's pretty well grilled off. Um, now we're going to reduce the amount of liquid, the moisture from the chicken. I want to get that really gone um, because then we're going to deglaze our pan with a little bit of white wine. Get all that flavor resuspended after we've compressed it down with dehydration. We've cooked off all the liquid, nice dry pan. So now we want to get that flavor resuspended. I like a little bit of a Chardonnay. Doesn't take much. These little boxes are great for cooking. They they fit in the refrigerator nicely. They don't uh, get knocked around because we are in a you know a man or a, uh, an RV that's so going to be driving around and always want to think about what we have in our fridge and our cupboards so that we don't uh, so we don't lose anything. Next, we're going to add a little bit of a half and half. Some people like milk. Half and half has less sugar in it. The more you add, the, uh, the creamier the, uh, the sauce is going to be for the noodles. A good dollop of sour cream. Get this all stirred together. already taking on that creamy look. So that was about a cup of uh, sour cream. About three quarters of a cup of uh, half and half. Now for the very special ingredient, the Parmesan cheese. I like the fresh Parmesan cheese. It carries more flavor and less sawdust.
My wife says, you can never have too much Parmesan cheese. I tend to think she's wrong, but. So there is our chicken Alfredo. Just waiting for the noodles. Oh, our bread, you should see the bread. It's just beautiful. Uh, golden brown that is. Looks like it's got about a minute and a half to go. Like I said, these are our carbonata noodles, which are great for diabetics. They take about three minutes to cook. I forgot the lid to my pan, so I'm going to be using the bottom of my paper plates. Get that turned all the way down. About a minute, we're going to take that uh, that bread out. We're going to take and put a little bit of uh, butter all over it because fresh bread and butter, you got to have it. The smell of a uh, homemade bread in the RV, that's one of those those things that you just never forget. It's such a great taste, a great, great smell. It brings you right back to your grandma and grandpa. And this is such an easy way to cook bread. It really is. I can pull it out right now, but it's got 20 seconds. I'm like, I must do it the extra 20 seconds. See that or I have to push the button and clear it. And now my convection microwave is going to tell me the food is ready. Butter across there. Just kind of let it set while we finish up cooking up the rest of the stuff. Normally, when I do this, I'll make two loaves of bread because I know that my photographer is going to steal one of them. So I save the best one for us. He can have the ugly one. So now our convection oven, our air fryer, our microwave, is now gonna cool down before it shuts off. It's a smaller space than a big oven, so it doesn't take as much time or energy to heat all the way up, and it doesn't take as much time to cool down. But as you can see, that's a beautiful loaf of bread. I've been telling folks this for, gosh, so many years. Use your convection oven, it'll cook better then your, your propane oven, less spotty, nice, consistent, golden brown. You can do an incredible things with this, and it's just an air fryer. So, looks like our noodles are about done. We're going to move things around a little bit here so we can get into, we only need one side of the sink. So why have the other one uncovered? That is my support surface. So now we're going to drain off our water just like you would at home. right back in this. Counting the bread, I'm only going to be using three pans for the broccoli, the noodles, and the chicken alfredo, and the, and the bread. So, recycle my pan, get my broccoli, because you've got to have vegetables with your dinner. 
the, um, the carbonado noodles are a high fiber noodle. Literally brought one knife, one spatula, so it doesn't take much. That's important because, yeah. well, the more the more dishes you dirty, the more dishes you wash. Get some nice broccoli flowerettes. Simple, delicious chicken Alfredo, low carb. Wonderful. So we're gonna let that set and kind of co-mingle those flavors a minute while our broccoli steams up. Next thing we're gonna do is see if we can get this bread out of this pan. I do love hot, fresh bread. But I also know that I can't cut it if it's too hot. So we definitely want to let it cool. Yeah, I knew I was gonna drop that bread right into that sink. Nice golden brown. Whew. Still very warm putting our stuff away. Normally I'd just put this right in the fridge, but well, this is not my RV. This is just one of them we have for sale here in Fishes in Junction City. So, leaving stuff in the fridge is probably not an option. Kind of give you a, an idea of how much actual kitchen counter space I was using. There's not much here. All right, so this is the blind taste test. I've never tasted Roger's stuff before, so facial reaction's gonna be real. I don't have a fork. I do this all the time. <laughs> hmm. I'm Roger Woodruff here in beautiful Junction City, Oregon with the Bish RV Organization. Beautiful Junction City, Oregon. We had a beautiful day out. Um, this is chicken alfredo, homemade bread, broccoli, cooked in a smaller kitchen, convection microwave oven. That bread came out gorgeous. The dinner came out gorgeous. So good. So, thank you. I, uh, I hope you like this video because I'd like to do a lot more. So, if people say, uh, yeah, you shouldn't be in a kitchen, I'll stay out. If I should continue, I'll stay in. It's all up to you guys. Thank you.